Mastering English. Nominative case for singular and plural nouns. Hello, English learners around the world. Today, we're going to delve deep into an essential part of English grammar. The nominative case for singular and plural nouns. If you've ever wondered why we say, I am, instead of, me am, or, they are, instead of, them are, then you're in the right place. The nominative case is a grammatical term that refers to the form a noun or pronoun takes when it's the subject of a sentence. In English, nouns do not change form between the nominative and other cases, but personal pronouns do. We use the nominative case when a noun or pronoun is the one doing or being something. For instance, in the sentence, John runs fast, John is in the nominative case. Singular nouns are pretty straightforward. When a noun is the subject of a sentence, it stays in its basic form, whether it's a person, place, thing, or idea. For example, the cat is sleeping, coffee tastes good, Paris is beautiful. The highlighted words are all singular nouns in the nominative case because they are the subjects of their respective sentences. Plural nouns also do not change in the nominative case. The important thing to remember is that the verb must agree with the noun in number. Have a look at these examples. The cats are sleeping. Cookies taste good. Cities are bustling places. Again, the highlighted words are in the nominative case because they're the subjects of the sentences. Pronouns, unlike nouns, do change form in the nominative case. Singular pronouns in the nominative case include I, you, he, she, and it. Plural pronouns include we, you, and they. Here are some examples. I love pizza. She is studying. They are playing football. In all these sentences, the bolded words are pronouns in the nominative case. And that's it for today's lesson. We hope that this discussion on the nominative case for singular and plural nouns has given you a better understanding of English grammar. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try using these rules in your daily conversations and writing. See you in our next video.